While searching for an MP3 decoder board online, I found this cheap one from eBay for around $4. It has FM, USB and AUX support with TF card support as well. There are 4 buttons in the front for volume, play pause, next, previous and more change. It also has a LED display. It is also compact and lightweight. Its output is suitable only for headphones as the peak to peak voltage is very low. And sadly there is no 3.5mm jack in the output. You can also see connectors for power and audio output in the back of the board. Perfect for a hobbyist I would say. Looking closely you can see the labels on it for input and output. If you have an aux cable stripped from one end you can also use it by soldering it in the back of the board where the label says R in, L in or so. It also comes with a remote and connecting wires. I mean what else can we expect? So I decided to make a cheap portable mp3 player using this board and went ahead and bought it immediately. I bought these not so good quality 3 watt speakers having an impedance of 4 ohms. Now we cannot connect the output of the board directly to the speaker as we need more power. That's where amplifier comes in. I had this PAM8403 based class D amplifiers laying around. So I'm just going to use them. But later I will also show you how you can build one very easily and cheaply. As the first test I added the connecting wires to the board and soldered it to the amplifier board according to its labels. Then I connected wires to the speakers and soldered them to the amplifier board as well. I shorted the power wires of the amplifier and decoder and supplied 5 volts to them but nothing happened. Although the decoder board is working, there is no sound. So I disconnected everything and tried using the second amplifier I had and now we have sound. So I guess the first one is just broken. The current consumption is very low, around 0.04 amps at a standby and around 0.15 amps at full volume. So with an 1 amp power battery, we can use it for up to 6 hours. Starting with the build, I removed the screws holding the board to the case and separated the board and plastic buttons from the case. Then I cut a black carbon fiber vinyl according to the size of the case. I peeled off the vinyl and slowly and steadily pressed the case on it leaving space on all the four sides. And then I used a little pressure. Using an utility knife, I cut the part where it was not required. I used the holes as the guides to remove just the part I don't need. For the display though, this technique is not possible. So from the front side, I press the vinyl to see the borders of the display and then I press the knife so as the knife gets penetrated in the space between the case and the display. And then using it as a guide, I cut it out. Do not apply much pressure and use a sharp knife and do not cut excess of the vinyl. Please be patient while doing this. Then I ran the utility knife across the edges to remove extra vinyl. After this, I applied heat to the vinyl so that it shrinks and sticks more evenly to the case and also the heat removes any wrinkles in the vinyl. After screwing back the board again, I added hot glue between the board and case for added strength. Now it's time to build the case for our mp3 player. I started by doing a rough sketch of how I want all the sides of my player to look like. I decided to add the decoder on top and speakers in the front. I did some measurements and calculated the dimensions of the case, speaker holes and decoder board and wrote it down. I am going to stack two pieces of the used MDF for added strength. So I used the layout I made, I drew every part on a 3mm MDF and using a hacksaw I cut everything out. After cutting, I got 12 pieces, two for each side with their dimensions written on them for identification. I filed out the uneven edges using a flat file and using a tri-square I verified that the edges are perfectly straight. And if they weren't, I again filed them using a combination of a small file and a big file. Then I took all the 6 bigger rectangular pieces and I drew two line 90 degrees to each other leaving 3mm from all the edges which is thickness of the MDF on all the 6 bolts. In the front, I drew a line in the center of the piece. Then, using a compass and the layout, I made two circles of appropriate diameter. Using a 5mm drill bit, I made holes around the periphery of the circle and then removed the cutout piece. Then using a file, I made the circle smooth on the circumference. 
I did the same for the small rectangular piece, but while piling, this happened. As this was the inner part, I can just stick it using wood glue. But had it been the outer part, I would have to repeat the process. So be cautious while doing this. Now using the same process, I drew the rectangle for decoder and cut it out using drill and hacksaw and file the edges to make it smooth. I made sure that the board fits and repeated the process for the inner part as well. Using wood glue, I stick the inner pieces with their corresponding outer pieces using the 3mm space as guides that we had made earlier. I used a heavy object on top of them so that the pieces stick nicely to each other. I left them overnight to dry. After drying, they look pretty solid and they are good to go. This was the first part of the portable MP3 player project. In the next part, I will complete the casing and will also add Bluetooth support to the build and finally complete the assembly. If you like this project, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so that you do not miss future projects. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part 2.